What do you think the final score will be? I think the final score is going to be 21-7 us. I think it's going to be a close game. It's going to be 28-21 Cats. Uh, uh, the final score will be 24-21 us on top. 28-22 us. The final score I think is going to be for tonight is 28-21 us. And we're definitely going to win tonight. I think the final score will be 21-7. The score is going to be 28-27 Beaver. Bobcat dub. <laughs> 37 to 21. Uh, I guess 17, 14. Beaver Bobcats. Money Masters with the game. Coach, you will. <laughs> it's gonna be 28 to zero. Bobcats. Uh, I'm gonna say 28, 14. John, who are you wearing? Number 35, Money Masters. Constantina, who are you wearing? Tonight I'm wearing number 3, Jarrell Leeper, and number 5, Liam Gibson. Sawyer, who are you wearing? Josiah. Who are you wearing tonight? Number 24, Corey Atkins. Who got your cheat? Zoom in, zoom in. I did, I did. Gio, who are you wearing? Favorite player, Liam Gibson. Who do you guys think would look the best with pink hair? Ruby. Probably Emma. What happened to the bear? Who is the cutest football player? Jack Corbin. Yeah! Do you think we're going to win this game? Obviously. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Well, we got seven. Why is like that? Who do you think is the MVP of tonight's game? Jarrell! Who on the football team would look the best with pink hair? First or man. I say Money Masters. <laughs> Who is your favorite football player? Zachary Barnes. Zachary Barnes. <laughs> When I made the catch down there, it was like third and long, so if we didn't make that, it would have been put us in bad position. So it was a big catch by me, and if we were in bad position, they could have easily scored again, now we're getting them the lead, and they gave them more momentum. So I think that was a good catch. 
How did your first overtime game feel? Um, it was very exciting and it gave, uh, definitely gave everyone a rush. I've never really been in an overtime game and it really shows how football comes down to the game, in it, game of inches and uh, we just came out on top. Um, I feel, it felt good playing in my first overtime game. Um, it was a new experience for a lot of guys. It was just my adrenaline was rushing a lot and I'm sure it was for everybody else. And we just made a big goal line stand at the end and it was just good coming out on top. I feel like. Uh, we're just so proud of the way our young men responded to the, in the face of adversity. Uh, this team beat us 54 like seven last year. We went down 14 nothing. Our kids never gave up faith in who they are as men. They never gave up faith in each other. And uh, we just kept, I told the kids, like, we're in a street fight, and we just have to keep taking blows, blow for blow. Okay. And I'm proud of these guys for doing what they had to do. They, they did their job, and that's all we ask them to do. And we ask them to just believe in each other and believe in us, and, and good things will always happen. So I'm really proud of our young men. I'm, uh, I'm proud of our student section and everybody coming out to support us. I thank you, and we're just getting going, and I hope that everybody's going to come along for the ride.